A dangerous ocean catch forces the Japanese government to act. Two fish caught 50 miles off the Japan's coast had radioactive readings exceeding permissible levels. Environmental specialist Gary Chittam has more on the discovery sending ripples across the Pacific. Today's discovery hit Japan right in its cultural breadbasket. Contaminated bait fish found first near and now very far offshore are forcing new safety standards in Japan's popular fish markets. These are not the species that we would catch, but they form the forage base for lots of other species. University of Washington fish researcher Tim Essington says one of those other species is a frequent flyer between the Japanese and U.S. coasts. The juvenile albacore um, right about this time starts thinking about heading, heading our way. One of the tuna's favorite modes of international travel is hitching a ride on the ocean currents connecting the east and west. The good news here is oceanographers say it's a slow ride. One to three years. Seattle Ocean Current expert Kurt Ebesmeyer has a collection of items that have drifted from Japan to the U.S. on a well-established system of currents. The currents are very, um, are very uh, erratic. They're not a straight shot. It's not like a subway train. And even though tuna can make the trip faster, experts say it's highly unlikely a fish with anything close to a dangerous dose of radiation would ever make it across. It's similar to the steady drumbeat of news from U.S. scientists studying air currents from Japan. Again today, they say their equipment continues to show only minute particles, harmless amounts, hitching atmospheric rides across the Pacific. For now, it seems the seafood issue, like the airborne radiation, is still a local problem for Japan. One more blow to a country trying to get back on its feet. In Seattle, Gary Chittam, King 5 News. The FDA is carefully monitoring seafood imports for any traces of radiation arriving in this country.